welcome in to Unrivaled, the Penn State football story, season six, Cotton Bowl Rewind, brought to you by Pepsi. We've got a cast of thousands today as we welcome in Brent Pry, Tyler Bowen, and Joe Laurie. Coach Bowen, when did you find out that you were going to be the OC for this game? We were probably three weeks out. Coach Franklin gave me the call, and I was very honored uh, that he trusted me with that responsibility. Everybody makes a big deal about calling the plays for one game, but it's really a group effort and us together coming up with a good plan for Penn State's offense. What do you remember about the hype surrounding this game? Oh, it's a huge game. An opportunity to go down to Jerry World in Dallas, play in a, a great venue. Another New Year's Six Bowl game, the third one in four years. That, that's become something that's been very frequent for Penn State. Hey, just another 10 win season, right, for Penn State. That's what they do. Just from the bus ride in to, to seeing the big screen and, and really seeing the players. You know, we, we've been there previously, but seeing the players uh, get to experience it, many of them, you know, for, for the first time is, is really cool. As we know, Penn State is incredible as far as traveling to bowl games. Uh, we had great fan support show up. I mean, it was it was a loud atmosphere, and I always joke, every Penn State bowl game I've been a part of, it's been a home game for us. This is the last time all of us get to be together. We done put in work all year, and now we gonna show the whole world what we about. And Penn State, we ain't losing Cotton Bowl, but we ain't losing one today. We talked about it all year. No more, no more in the back seat. We're the front seat driver. Matter of fact, we got them keys. That change need to come out a lot today. But let's own this moment. Let them talk about the long boys going to the offseason, right? Let's go. It's game that we're here. We got here together. Let's finish this thing together. Everybody got me? Let's go through this thing. Coach, what were some of the matchups that your offense was trying to take advantage of going up against their defense. It's about getting your best players and giving them an opportunity to make plays with the football, whether that's Sean distributing the ball in the pass game or handing it off in the run game. Really loved our run game plan going into that game. I thought they did an incredible job. The offensive line was clicking, getting hats on hats, and creating movement along with the tight ends. How did you see Journey Brown take charge? There was a lot of excitement, I know, for myself and the offensive staff to be able to put the ball in his hand. watch him go. And then also the, the complimentary style of that room with, with Noah Kane and Devin Ford and, and everybody being able to go into the game and we don't we don't miss a beat. 22 yard drive for the Lenny Lions capped by the two yard run by Devin Ford. The inside receiver will choose to win it Jerry Brown. Take us through Pat's reception where he absolutely trucked the dude. It's a very simple drill that we work and a technique that we talk about in practice all the time that he was able to use as a ball carrier. You talk about giving somebody smoke. He ran over the defensive back. That same foot, same shoulder contact. Anytime you can get your near foot and near shoulder in contact with the defender, you're going to be in a pretty powerful position. Flipping to the other side of the ball, how do you think the defense helped complement the offense in this game? Huge plays, uh, turnovers at the right time. I mean, Coach Pry and that staff do an incredible job, and the players, we got some really good players on that side of the football, and that, that held true in that game. They forced 20 fumbles this year. That's the most amongst FBS schools. Jahan Dotson was able to pick up a crucial touchdown in this game. Coach, take us through that play call. Big moment right before the end of the first half. Uh, we're down there. We've got a third down uh, inside the 10 yard line, which those are always challenging, right? Sweet. The Nittany Lions cap a 75 yard drive. <laughs> we were able to dial up a quick screen to Jahan. Sean threw an accurate ball against man coverage, and Jahan was able to knife into the end zone. Hey, you look sweet on the big screen, baby. 35 to 23, the Nittany Lions lead it at the break. This is all that matters. Right now, this 30 minutes right here, all right? We're going to win on three, one, two, three. Win. Hey, like always, one play at a time championship standard. Think about, think about these seniors. Think about these guys that ain't going to be in the locker room with us no more. 
They deserve this! Coach Lorig, how does special teams play a critical factor in this game? I thought special teams played a huge impact. They literally told their punter to punt the ball out of bounds because they didn't want to punt it to KJ Hamler, which I, I don't I don't blame them, but uh, it did take 10 yards off their net punts. If you look at the field position in the game, it was a major factor. Coach Pry, how did Micah Parsons continue to make his presence felt during this game? They were spreading this out. And gives him the ability to, to kind of run and showcase his skill set even more uh, because he was sideline to sideline. Of course, in our in our playbook, there's plenty of glitches that involve number 11 right now. Mr. Everywhere, Micah Parsons. He loves the big moments and, and seems to play his best. So I was not surprised at the performance he had. Here's the football to the five goal line. What ultimately allowed you guys to collect the victory in this game? I thought we really got into a rhythm and a groove running the football. And I think anytime you can develop a consistency in running the football and not have so many negative plays, right, you're able to stay on schedule. John Clifford making great decisions and then convert meaningful third downs and two point conversions uh, down the stretch. I thought that was the tail of the game. Two point conversion, Pat Fryermuth. This was a back and forth contest, but what allowed your defense to slam the door on Memphis? I think the takeaways, you know, the big plays, that was big. The, the red zone interception, you know, to me was critical. Back goes wide, steps up, got time, throws, it's intercepted! Penn State's got it! Upfield, that is Marquise Wilson to the 15 yard line, and Marquise Wilson, who always seems to have a nose for the ball, found it there. They're all good football players, but the really special ones, when it's a big stage and a big moment, they, they make big time plays. They say big time players make big time plays, and, and that's what it means, and we saw that in that game. Marquise Wilson's pick at the end in the fourth quarter, you know, seeing a young guy step up on a big stage, that was a huge play. I think Coach Smith said at that time, we had two freshman corners, or maybe three freshman defensive backs on the field at a critical drive. So to me, that shows you, you know, the, the depth and the future guys to be excited about. And the Nittany Lions are Cotton Bowl champions! As Penn State knocked off Memphis in the Cotton Bowl and the confetti started to fly, what do you remember about that moment? I'm not gonna lie, a little bit of relief. A little bit of relief. That's a great feeling. And I think honestly, as players and coaches, you think about that. Like leading up, you want to be that team on the stage with the confetti and the trophy. Just so proud of these guys. Our Penn State Nittany Nation has been so supportive of us along the ways. We've done some good things in the last six years, but the best is in front of us. It's much more than football for us. The football and the winning games is a byproduct of our culture, which is family, our core values, how we're able to treat our guys. It's about achieving big time in the classroom, achieving off the field in the community, and the winning becomes a byproduct of that culture and mindset, and I think that was on full display in Dallas at the Cotton Bowl. Describe the historical significance of that win for this program. It was huge, and you look back at the history of the Cotton Bowl as it relates to Penn State, Wally Triplett uh, getting the game-tying touchdown, the first African-American player to play in the Cotton Bowl, and really what it means when we say we are Penn State, being able to write your own chapter in that history, not only from a football standpoint, but to be able to come back to the Cotton Bowl, which means so much to the Penn State community. I love every single one of you. What you guys accomplished this year is special. Seniors have 42 wins. It's only the third group of seniors to do that in the history of Penn State. What was great about today is everybody contributed. Offense, defense, special teams, it was a team win. And we did it together.